Hello, my name is Corinne Mintz and I'm a freshman at the University of Arkansas. The piece of art I chose is located at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. I decided to discuss African Elephant by Andy Warhol. The series Endangered Species by Warhol was commissioned by Ronald and Freda Feldman and was created in 1983. The inspiration for this portfolio emerged from conversations he had with a couple about environmental issues. They combed through hundreds of pictures of endangered species and selected 10. Warhol was originally born Andrew Warhola on August 6, 1928. He graduated from the Carnegie Institute of Technology in New York with a degree in pictorial design. Warhol's most iconic work centered around the movement of pop art. His most well-known creation is most likely Campbell's Soup Cans or the Maryland Diptych. In 1968, playwright and feminist author Valerie Salonis nearly killed Warhol by shooting him. However, this traumatic event did not stop his increasing rise to fame. In February of 1987, Andy underwent gallbladder surgery, and while recovering, he suddenly died of cardiac arrest. In order to make the prints of the animal into original works of art, Andy used the silk screen technique. This complicated yet intriguing process produced the results Andy was looking for, an exciting new way to look at old and ordinary images. When looking at African elephant, immediately noticeable is the use of bright colors rather than the dull and muted tints present on actual African elephants. The two hues used most in this image are pink and green along with white and orange with varying intensities. Overall, this image contains high saturation which is very eye-catching. Immediately, the viewer is drawn to the elephant due to its bright hues. Warhol even described the series as animals in makeup. What is very fascinating about this image is that you can visualize the personality and temperament of the elephant. The eyes are very expressive. They tell of a long and weary life of walking all across the deserts of Africa, and they also tell of the sadness of the fate of the species it belongs to. The use of texture is very prominent. It seems as though you can reach out and feel the skin of the elephant beneath your own fingertips. This exemplifies the iconography methodology of art. Although specific text does not underlie the image, it does represent more than just a normal elephant. Warhol produced this series of endangered species in order to bring to light the tragedy of poaching and the habitat loss of many different animals. This print, as well as the other nine, symbolizes the danger that these animals are in as well as the threat to fauna and flora as a whole. Each animal is depicted in isolation, not accompanied by its herd or pack or family, symbolizing the peril that they are in. The style of art the African elephant belongs to is pop art. Pop art developed out of abstract expressionism and focused on returning to the object. The main focal point of this type of art is ordinary mass-produced objects that you can find seemingly anywhere, such as soup cans, or famous and influential people during that time, such as Marilyn Monroe. In this style, art is not representative of the artist's inner mind, rather the artist pursued objectivity that was symbolized by common items. Andy Warhol himself is one of the greatest known pop artists. He not only epitomizes the pop art lifestyle, but all of his work is very unique. He particularly loved to represent commercial images. Warhol famously state stated, I want to be a machine, which exemplifies his fixation on mass producing images. He achieved this by using the silkscreen technique, which allowed for many paintings to be produced and allowed for each picture to be different from the last. I chose this piece firstly because it immediately caught my eye. The elephant picture is so majestic and grand, and I admire how Warhol took just a regular picture of an elephant and turned it into a masterpiece filled with bright, vivid colors. Warhol constantly challenged the accepted and normal view of art, and he does so with this image as well. I also love that this piece symbolizes so much more than just the animal. It was created in order to raise awareness about the ecological issues that faced our country at the time, and still do today. The whole series was donated by Warhol to several wildlife conservation organizations in order to be auctioned off to raise money for the organizations, which is something I really admire, not only about the work, but about Warhol as well. Not only is this picture stately and brilliant in color, but what it represents is so amazing and beautiful in and of itself.